Around 122 AU, the Voyager 1 spacecraft is 35 years and 11 billion miles from Earth. The 1977 launch of the Voyager 2 probe was intended to study the outer solar system and the interstellar space beyond the Sun, even though it is now 11 billion miles from Earth. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss the Voyager spacecraft's journey through interstellar space and its terrifying discoveries that shocks the entire space industry. The 1,600-pound probe has been traveling through the heliosheath since 2004. The heliosheath is an area of the outer heliosphere where the solar wind slows down in response to pressure from the interstellar medium. The probe took pictures of Uranus and Neptune up close, as well as other solar system details as it moved through the breathtaking views of our solar system after leaving the sun's atmosphere. The scientists were shocked. In contrast to Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus cannot be seen with the naked eye. The encounter between Voyager 2 and Uranus started on November 4, 1985. The majority of the crucial observations took place in a six-hour window and around the time of closest approach. Activity peaked in late January 1986. Eleven new moons of the planet Uranus have been found. And the planet is thought to be the coldest in our solar system required the first thermometer. Voyager 1, the first probe to pass by Jupiter and Saturn, was 224 degrees Celsius below zero when it did so. For a generation, numerous media outlets and schoolbooks have used the images that Voyager 1 returned. Additionally, it sent pictures of the Jupiter planet and the moons that orbit it, displaying the presence of volcanoes and lightning strikes on one of the moons. And it arrived at the location where it was most likely to encounter Saturn, which is identified by a huge arc that surrounds it. Voyager spacecraft have already been of great service to humanity before making their historic journey into interstellar space, taking advantage of the unusual alignment of planets in the outer solar system. The Voyager 1 spacecraft left the solar system nine years ago, becoming the first spacecraft to cross the dividing line separating our solar system from interstellar space, where the sun's magnetic field and continuous material flow end, interstellar space begins. According to John Richardson, the Voyager 2 search results are an imaging result because the boundaries of the area in which the solar plasma spreads are so thin. In less than a day, the Voyager 2 probe passed over them. Therefore, it is estimated that those border clusters are about 0 to 6 AUs thick. It is roughly equivalent to 8.97 million kilometers per hour. When Voyager 1 learned how strong the cosmic rays were, the galaxy jumped. The amount of solar particles decreased and the magnetic field's strength doubled to about 0.4 nanotesla. Over the ensuing months, there were four more inflection points. Marked by a loss of field power, five different times, the Voyager 1 probe picked up variations in the strength of the magnetic field. According to NASA, it is extremely uncertain how the Sun's magnetic field will behave at the edge of the heliosphere. The field fluctuations were picked up by the Voyager 1 spacecraft, but not at the same time as the change in cosmic ray abundances. To measure the magnetic field, the Voyager 1 probe navigated through the outer solar system. By using the Ibex ribbon's cardinal directions, you can move the needle on a compass. Unexpected diversity was discovered by the Voyager 2 probe. The outer planets, in contrast to the rocky inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are enormous bodies of gas and liquid with no solid surfaces. Terrestrial planets are the names given to Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars as inner planets. The secondary atmosphere of the terrestrial planets are well known. This indicates that comet impact or volcanic activity, not advection, created the atmosphere. The majority of the solar system's volcanic features were formed millions of years ago. Our solar system contains at least five known bodies with active volcanoes. Earth, where we currently reside, Jupiter's moon, Triton, Enceladus, and Venus are the other five known bodies. The hottest planet in the solar system is Venus, which is the planet that orbits the Sun closest. 
Earth-like in terms of size and density, its atmosphere is 50 times denser than Earth's and average surface temperatures are 470 degrees Celsius or 878 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. Its surface is a mosaic of volcanic features, including peaks and plains shaped over eons of turbulent activity. The vast lava fields that cover the majority of the rolling plains are the largest volcanic outpourings. Researchers found that while volcanism on Venus exhibits fewer eruptive types than on Earth, it all appears to involve fluid lava flows. On Venus, there is little evidence for the eruption of sluggish viscous lava and no indication of explosive ash-forming eruptions. Voyager is on a mission to explore the outer planets. The spacecraft was expected to find moons similar to our own, according to scientists. Recently, astronomers discovered Kepler-170 API, a second promising candidate for a moon outside of our solar system. Kepler-170 API orbits a Jupiter-sized planet around a sun-like star, while being only marginally smaller than Neptune. These two discoveries put an end to the possibility that large moons like these might start to show up in the data from the James Webb Space Telescope, or Plato, even though they still retain their candidate status. About 8,000 light-years away, Kepler-1625b orbits an exoplanet with a mass several times that of Jupiter and is about the size and mass of the planet Neptune. Even if scientists assume that the current equilibrium temperature on Kepler-1625b is 350 Kelvin, without taking any albedo into account, the planet may still be habitable. Since the launch of Voyager 1 Pro on September 5, 1977, and the launch of Voyager 2 two weeks later, the Voyager's mission has been underway for four to five years. Voyager will be remembered as one of the greatest achievements in exploration because it went places that no other human-made object or spacecraft had ever been. Voyager 1 and 2 are spacecraft in interstellar space at this time. There is no way at all that they could possibly encounter each other. They are not expected to meet. And the majority of the experiments have been stopped to conserve energy for the radio transmitter in about five years. NASA expects to lose contact with both of them.